everybody, it's Paul from Screen 90 Mentor. Today, by popular demand, we're going to find out who reigns supreme. Is it Kit Cenaris in the one corner? Ah, or is it Scrite in the other corner? Ah, you know. So, now both of these are awesome programs um, at the time of this video, which are both free. So, technically, you could get both right now. Heck, I would even encourage you to do that. However, if you have to say which one is better, especially if you have a friend who's thinking about getting into screenwriting, uh, which one would you recommend? Um, which one do you think is better for beginning screenwriters just in general? Now, today we're going to examine these two remarkable programs and hopefully, hopefully crown a winner. Now, the way we're going to look at the contest today, we're going to look at five different categories. We're going to look at cost, features, communications, resources, and the last one, ease of use. Ding, ding. Round one. Our first category is cost. And at the time of this video, both main programs are free. Now, however, Script, uh, according to their website, will be adding a price tier to the software this coming quarter. So get it while you can right now. Now, this would make you think that Kit Cenaris would automatically win this category, hands down, but hold your horses. Kit Cenaris does have a price if you're using the cloud feature with a yearly subscription costing about $53. And then they also, if you look on their web page, they'll break down each of the different pricings for a, a, a month or a couple of months. So then Script might be looking better because right now it's totally free. However, do you really need that cloud storage from Kit Cenaris? So I think at the end of the, of the day, especially since Scrite is going to be offering a pricing model for most of their features and the cloud storage, I don't think is a huge thing. I'm going to give this round ding ding to Kit Cenaris. Round two. Now, our next category is features. Now, Kit Cenaris is an above average screenwriting program. That's really cool. It's got a, its editor is very solid. It has some pre-work features with a research tab and a mind map. It has some great editing tools with a card system, and it's available in a ton of different languages. Now, Kit Cenaris does also have a mobile app at the time of this writing, but its rating is not the best. It's got a 2.8 out of a possible five stars with 11 reviews, and the last couple of reviews have not been very nice. Now, one of the nice features about Kit Cenaris is that it works as a traditional screenwriting program and that the basic element you're going with is the page. And so if you're coming from a different screenwriting program to this, it's pretty uh, much apples to apples. Um, so you sort of know how to how sort of the layout looks on the page. Now, Scribe's a little different if, you're used, if you've been used to using other screenwriting programs because the basic element is the scene and not the page. Now, it isn't hard to use, but it does take a little use to getting, uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. Now, however, with its basic element as a scene, it also allows you to do some pretty amazing stuff in terms of pre-work. And at the time of this video, I think Scrite has one of the pre -work, best pre-work features of any software outside of Final Draft. And to be honest, I think it would actually give Final Draft a run for its money. And I'm actually hoping that Final Draft learns some stuff by looking at Scrite and changing some up, 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 changing up some of its pre-work as well, too. Now, the editor is comparable to Kit Cenaris. It offers itself in several different Indian languages as well as English. I do like the ability to be able to look at some famous scripts, which you can do in this particular software. The other thing that Scrite has going for it is that it has an active team working on it versus Kit Cenaris, whose team is actually working on a different project. And so they'll actually end or they'll sunset any other types of updates here in the near future because I know they're working steadily on their new project. So I think I'm going to lean into Scrite for this one now. So I guess we're all tied up. One to one. Round three. Fight. Our next category is communication. Scrite uses a Discord to interact with their audiences, while Kit Cenaris has a form that you can email out. Script was pretty quick in replying to me in a couple of hours. Kit Cenaris, on the other hand, lets you know up front it's going to take a couple of days before they get back to you. Um, and as much as I don't like using Discord as a boomer, you know, I prefer a fast response. And I did get a, a response within the exact time frame that, that Kit Cenaris told me, two to three days. I did get a response within two to three days of sending it. So they're right on target. Um, I just want a faster response than a slower response. So I'm going to give it back to Scrite. So Scrite is up two to one. Round four, fight. Our next category is resources. I know this is a little vague for a term, but I, 
I'm looking at help resources as well as writing resources. Kitsinaris has a pretty good help section under their history button on their website. Looking at YouTube, Kitsinaris doesn't have a channel, but people have made some great videos around it. In fact, yours truly has made a lot of them. Um, not that I'm biased at all, right? <laughs> well, on the other hand, Scrite does have its own YouTube channel, but doesn't have too many videos on there. Neither of the two softwares do a great job of having resources for newer writers, which I think is a significant miss, especially if you're trying to promote this as a free resource. I think it'd be great to have some resources for new and novice writers. So if any of the team is watching this, again, if you could do some of that, I think that would really be helpful to new and beginning writers. But I think I'm gonna give the win to Kitsunarist in this category simply because I really like the person who's made a lot of their YouTube videos. Biased? You bet I am. Guilty as charged. Um, but like I said, I think um, having to use the software and stuff, these videos, and just their help menu overall, they have a lot more, since they've been out longer, they have a lot more um, answers to questions and stuff like that. So I just, it's a slight edge, but I do give it to Kitsunarist. Round five, fight. The next category is ease of use. Now it's gonna decide who's gonna wear the crown. Now Kitsinaris is pretty intuitive when you begin the program and because it's similar to other software, screenwriting software programs, it's fairly easy to use. Now for my personal experience, I was up and running within probably about 15 minutes, so pretty quick. Now on the other hand, uh, with Scrite, it's harder to master because it's based on scenes and not on the traditional page. It took me actually about 90 minutes before I could use the program to its fullest. No, so I'll have to hand it over to Kitsinaris for the first for those first time screenwriters. So in the end, for me it actually shocked me because I thought Scrite would win, but going through these different categories, in the end, Kitsinaris went out based on the metrics we tested. However, I would still highly recommend Scrite, especially if you're a writer who likes to outline. It has been a game changer for me, Scrite has and one that has helped me uh, with my writing journey. So that's one of the key things to remember. Where are you at in your writing journey? Now, depending on your goals, either of these two programs may be the best for you. And the most important thing you need to remember is what is gonna help you write. If it's Scrite, awesome. If it's Kitsinaris, awesome. If it's any other program, use it. That's the big thing with any of these software programs. Use the one that's gonna help make it easier for you to write. And I hope one of these programs that we've looked at today, uh, you can look at and, and use. If you're also curious, I'll put links to each of the, the places where you can download this software and try it out for yourself. Again, as I said at the beginning of the video, kick the tires, give them a try, see what happens. And above all, keep writing. Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name is Paul from Screenwriting Mentor. I make videos about screenwriting software as well as screenwriting in general. And I do my best to answer any questions you have about either of those two topics. If this is the type of content you feel is helpful for your screenwriting journey, please hit the subscribe button below. Uh, if you have any questions about software, leave them in the comment section below. If I can't figure it out, I usually, usually do my best to figure it, have other people that I know in the industry help me figure it out for you. If you have any questions about screenwriting in general, hit them in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching my videos and I just hope hope that this is helpful on your screenwriting journey because at the end of the day the most the thing that's most important for me is your writing so that you can finish your writing get that screenplay out there so we can watch this next big blockbuster because you know looking at those Hollywood movies right now they suck and so we really need you to step forward and bring about those wonderful stories that we can all look at on the screen and be really excited about well until the next video write well and live well